Back during the Depression, Bob found an old gramophone in a pigeon house. Quick, think of any item. Bob cares for more than 200 pipe organs, music boxes, gramophones. Someone out there probably collects it. And as we looked back at vintage WFA stories archived in SMU's Jones Film Library, we found that an impressive collection can always make news. He and the investors who backed him now own 41,000 books, manuscripts, letters, and maps. Regardless of what's being collected. By now, his homemade pencil collection has taken over not only his workshop, but his dining room table as well. From the small and cheap... I'm trying to collect cars that were at one time imported in the United States and sold in the United States, but have been in essence legislated out. To the considerably more expensive. Yet, no matter what you collect, if your collection is expansive enough, you just might find its value appreciated. Collecting bottles is second in popularity only to stamps. The highest at the show is priced at $1,000. Such was the case at the annual bottle show and sale at Dallas Market Hall in the 1970s, a time when people were trying to turn used glass into fresh cash. But to collect takes work. The Dallas collectors have their own private garbage dump where they dig for old bottles. The location is a strict secret for fear of raiders. Unfortunately for dumpster divers, bottles went out of style. So what are the most valued collections today? American Collectors Insurance says you might want to hold on to these. Because today's face value is tomorrow's fortune. In Dallas, I'm Chris Sadegui.